hello friends all across the world. How's everybody doing today? This is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail British campaign. Start a new one because the dev recommended it and you know keeping the music in it this time around. So anyways, next battle is dinner for Admiral. Now don't forget they changed this game so they made these things a heck of a lot harder now. Okay, well. Oh, I'm gonna have to put the Gallagher in and the Ferret. That's it, let's give it a shot. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to pause for a second. Capture Walpole, destroy San Juan Baptista. San Juan Baptista. And that's the second ship. Okay, and this ship here... I'm going to have to take, get the guns going on here. And what about this ship? That ship's okay. Alright. we got to take a hard left here. And we got to take a hard left. I want to go to full sails. So we got to capture this ship and we got to capture or destroy this one. This one we don't care about. And if it turns and gets in my way, that will bite. But anyways, let's go ahead and get it going. We got to go as fast as we can. So I'm hoping with the wind. Yeah, he's going to start to turn. But I'm going to go straight for this one because This one's going to go straight for that one. I mean, it kind of sucks in a way. Because the way it's setting up, it's like, this is the one that I should get, but... Like, it, it, see, this is what really... <laughs> Alright, you know what? I will see about taking this one and then I will try to destroy that ship because he wants to get in my way Okay, well maybe, I don't know. Oh, okay, I gotta watch about this one. Okay, so I might as well try to get this one. Pay attention to this. No, you gotta get this one. 
And I, and I, and where's the guns? I don't want him firing. Because he might accidentally set the ship on fire. And then I lose the mission. Alright, so we got... We got that. That ship now. Okay, so see how this ship got in my way? And that's why they should have it the other way. They should say we have to destroy this one because you can already see that I'm gonna. Okay, so we got the wall pole, so I'm just gonna send it off over there. if you don't get that, you're gonna fail the mission anyway, so... There's water pump broke. Okay, so now I'm going to go with the wind with him. Yeah, he's shooting at my sails. Yeah, he's shooting at my sails. Okay, well, you know what? Well, I guess instead of capturing, I'll, I'll try to sink these guys, then that's where it's going to be. Both of them shoot at the sails.
Hey, the Santa Rita surrendered, but it's sinking though. That's the only problem. So I don't even know if I should capture it. Well, you know what? There are guys on it, so if I can, if I can take it over, even though it watch like watch this for just a second, if he can get it. Because there are still men on here because they surrendered, so then I'll get them in my, my prisoner pool if, if I can capture this ship. And then if it sinks while I own it, then I just, then these guys will drop out in the boat, I guess. Well, let me see. Watch this. Watch the numbers. Yeah, see? Um, so now we captured them. I'm gonna send it off that way. I wonder if there was an out of bounds area that I could send the ship to, to where or then I would get to keep it but before it sunk, but I don't think so. Now, here's the mission though. We've got to sink this one, so. I'm gonna send my two units over here and, oh, he's coming back anyway. He wants to engage, which is wonderful because I would fail the mission if if he didn't come back to fight. Because that's one of the objectives. I mean, I can't believe it. I guess you'd get a draw if you eliminated the fleet, but you didn't capture the wall pole. But it's better to capture the wall pole because you'll get money for doing that. This is the out of bounds area, so let that ship go there. And I don't know if this ship could get there before it sinks. But we're gonna find out. Like I said, this is like I said. I, I wish they had it where you could, you know, get the first ship because that ship interfered with my ships to try to get this one. And I don't think that that's the way it should be. Because, like, like, suppose, like I don't know if he goes off to out of bounds where I can't get him. If I, if I get a drawer out of this, like, let me see. Well, if he was to withdraw, like yeah, I don't even know if that would if that would be the case. Like I, I don't know if he's gonna do that. But we gotta. All right, well, I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit to get this to go. Hey, we knocked out a mass. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, lucky shot. That, is, that was uh, that was nice. Twenty-two 
26 guns. Alright, so now he's stranded. So like I said, um, normally I like to capture ships, but... They, they definitely made it a little bit harder to capture ships. You have to line it up just right and all that stuff. And so well, that's, you know... Of course, the way this is, we're going against the wind, it's not good, but I, I don't even think I could get to that ship, so that's good that I can hit it on this angle here. Because all I gotta do is sink it and I can just win this mission. Oh, he is sinking. Excellent. But he can still shoot, so we gotta shoot at him also. Are you going to go under or not? <laughs> Let's see if we could help it. Wouldn't you like to send him to Davy's locker?
But see how hard it is to sink a ship sometimes? So they've made it pretty hard, I'll tell you. Okay, it's sunk. Okay, whew. Boy, I'll tell you, see how hard it is though to take down a ship? I mean, wow. Alright folks, that's dinner for Admiral. I had two ships, they had three ships. They had 52 guns, I had 46 guns. They had 300, I had 370, they had 260. One sunk, two captured. 260 crew loss, or they had, yeah, losses. And then army strength, they had 280 total. Four guns, wow, I didn't even know that. And it looks like all I lost was 27 crew. I mean, but I don't know how correct these reports are. They're, they're still working on those. And I did capture the wall pole. Notice how it's it's red here. I mean, these are like, this is early access. So it's still, you know, even though they said they updated it a lot, it, it's still like, this should be greed. At least one must be uh, eliminate the fleet. Well, yeah, I already fulfilled that. I did destroy this and I did capture this. Although I put it into the outside, so I mean, but I still got a victory, so that's what counts. This guy got promoted. And I got the San Rita. But I wonder... If, uh, because I put it out of bounds, I didn't get the, uh, I don't know, do you, do you get the wall pole or not? Or do we no longer get the wall pole? I'm not sure, like, see, so, because I put it out of bounds, so I'm wondering if I, if I didn't get it, you know, like, I don't know if they would have gave me the wall pole, I'm, I'm not certain. Like I said, they make so many changes to this game, I can't keep up on it. But, the Santa Rita didn't sink, so... Even though it said it was sinking, <laughs> so I ended up getting it, so that's cool. Oh, and okay, so, um, Spanish Command contacted me and offered to pay for captives. Let's see, I have 9,000 over there. Um, I am okay to have money for them. Three, 302 captives will cost 1781. I am going to release them. If they do not fight against us anymore, I will generate one reputation. So that'll put me at 16, or would I rather have almost 2,000? I think I'll take the money. 
So now I have no more prisoners, but now I bumped it up to 11,000. So that's a nice feature that they have. Alright, there we go. After dinner for Admiral. That was what that was. Now ah, we got our first uh, POI, point of interest battle, which we don't do these, we just put ships in here. That's that one. This is the Europe uh, Herald reporting about our battle and stuff, and they're talking about a childbirth of uh, 12 hours. Gave, uh, you know, some lady gave birth. Um, I don't even think it says her name, it just says a woman. Yeah, so apparently she got on board and she got pregnant and she had a kid and so they're, they're saying that they don't want women on, on board ships anymore. <laughs> that's kind of, that's funny. I never really fully read that. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, we do have new technology. Now this gives us an access to supply wagons. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I want to do any technology right now. All right, well, we're going to go to repair costs. $184 to repair the Galga. $36, that's not bad to repair the ferret. Okay, so now I got the San Santa Rita. And I could unlock it. But what I think I'll do is I'm going to sell it for two rep. And I'll see if I can unlock the Mercedes with 15, but I only have two here. That's dangerous, but I have to repair it for 862 because <laughs> I'd rather have the Mercedes. So now I did unlock it, but I only got 10,000 10, and I only have two rep. That's really dangerous. Because if I get a draw in a battle, I might just be knocked out of the whole war if this goes below to zero or below. So, Anyways. I'll top off my uh, Galga, and I'll top off my Mercedes, I mean not my Mercedes, the Ferret, excuse me, and this ship wasn't involved, and this ship wasn't involved, so now that means I have the rest of the money to get the Mercedes up and running. First, need an officer. Now, do we have any good weapons or anything? No, we don't. Well, we really don't. All right, so does any ship have the Sea Service 38? I 
Yep, this one does. All right, so maybe I could um, make a different weapon for this ship. Yeah, no, I can't do it. Unfortunate. Alright, well, what that means is then I can only put on. Let me see. Yeah, see, not enough weapons. Okay, so. There's only 134 here. So I can get this to only one, 134, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh well. Alright. Well, I guess what we could do is put a boarding kit on here. Makes it go overweight. All right, well, at least give it the boarding kit. And I don't like having a full crew on here, I think, because we can go to. Not enough weapons. Yeah, we could go to 200. That would be nice. But, okay, well, that's about it, then. Can't do any more. That's, that's the best that I can do, folks. That's it. After camp, and uh, that is it. So, all right, well, I'm going to bid everybody uh, adieu. I want to say goodbye to everybody in the world. Have a great day, great evening. God bless everybody. This is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.